Is this the easiest frozen drink ever? Next time you want to take your party up a notch with minimal effort, then this is the technique for you. And if anyone accuses you of being lazy, just tell them that this is how some of the top science-focused bars and bartenders do it. Dave Arnold, probably the world's foremost drink scientist, did a seminar on frozen drinks for Tales of the Cocktail, and in it he suggested freezing single serves of recipes in Ziploc bags, and then that way you can test how the texture would come out. Also a great idea to just have some on hand for a refreshing little bit of me time whenever you feel like it. But the key to this technique is that you pre-dilute the cocktail and then freeze it, rather than adding ice and blending. The genius brains behind detail-orientated bars like White Lion and Dandelion love to be able to control all aspects of their drinks, so they're also advocates of this technique over just dumping ice in a blender. It's really easy to scale up, sort of granita style, and the basic idea can be adapted to almost any drink or flavor combination. I like to keep it lower in ABV, and this does mean that it freezes a little bit more solid and icy, like an actual granita, but it's still tasty and refreshing like that. And you know, you can definitely still drink it, but you can also loosen it out with a frozen spirit of your choice to make it a creamier texture. Another reason why it's really great for parties because you can have a couple of different frozen spirit options for your guests. Of course, you can make the base mixture entirely non-alcoholic. You'll just have to keep more of an eye on it and stir while it's freezing to stop big ice crystals from forming. I like having the vermouth in there because it is, essentially acts as a binder and it just lowers the freezing point a little bit. Uh, I am going for a Blanco or Bianco um, style of vermouth, which is a white vermouth, which still has a good amount of sweetness. So sits somewhere between a dry vermouth and a sweet red vermouth in flavor. It's really bright and summery and it'll go well with basically any spirit. Sweet vermouth definitely works as well, or you could try with something like Aperol or your favorite dessert wine. I'm pretty sure a Pedro Jimenez sherry and orange juice one would be so rich and delicious. You can also switch out different liqueurs or actually the juice just to keep it interesting. So um, grapefruit is great if you prefer something a little bit more bitter or use different kinds of citrus like blood oranges as they come into season. So to make this drink, what we're gonna do is basically just measure everything out it's gonna be obviously a little bit larger than just one serve. Um, the amount that I've done is probably enough for sort of three or so. And as I said, the ingredients are really interchangeable. Um, going with, you know, my always my favorites. The guys at Marionette have made a little peach liqueur, um, which I happened to have on my shelf. And when I was making this up last night, thought that it would go quite nicely, and it certainly does. But my original plan had been to go for an orange liqueur. Same with citrus. I was gonna go all orange, but then we happened to be filming a video on um, kind of oils, shrubs, and syrups yesterday, which if you haven't seen that yet, it should be out by now, so definitely check it out. But it means that I had some peeled grapefruit lying around and, you know, not one to like wasting things, thought I may as well juice that up and add that in as well. And actually that little bitter edge um, is pretty awesome in the drink too. So to get started, we're gonna juice up some citrus juice to go in here. Keep the nice one for show and go with the older one here. Uh, so one pretty big grapefruit there is giving me about 100 mils worth of juice, which is pretty perfect. And then we want about 100 mils worth of the same of orange juice, just for that kind of rounder, more sweet citrus flavor. Now, of course you can strain this, but I think as long as you make sure you don't have any um, like actual seeds or anything going in there, I actually quite like having little bits of like the flesh kind of um, through it that you can have a little chew on if you feel like it. About 200 mils of fruit juice. Then we're gonna go 200 mils of the Casamariol vermouth, uh, which is a Spanish white vermouth with lots of really juicy citrus notes, which works really well here. Then about 100 mils of whatever liqueur you're using, so a little peach liqueur for me here. Or you could go for something else like an apricot brandy, whatever you have to hand, it will be pretty hard to go wrong. And then just 100 mils of water. So obviously you do have the juice in there, you don't really need it for the dilution, um, but it does just help the texture kind of set that little bit more, um, as I said, kind of like more sorbet-like, uh, so that if you are adding spirits and things afterwards, then it's not just gonna completely fall apart and go really watery. If you um, are not planning on adding anything, then you can actually just freeze this like this and it goes quite a nice slushy consistency itself. 
um, but it is obviously then quite an intense flavor as well. Like that, that little bit of water definitely helps kind of lengthen it out and smooth it out a little bit. So up to yourself at this point, but I'm gonna go 100 mils of water. Now that's just gonna get popped in your freezer, um, preferably overnight, but I'm sure, you know, if you gave it kind of four or five hours, you'd probably be pretty happy with it as well. Now, obviously should have done this before I got stuff out of the freezer, but sometimes I forget. Just gonna do a quick little grapefruit wedge garnish for this one. And we can see that our granita has gone pretty solid. I wouldn't quite be holding it above my head, but you know, it's not too bad. So just give it a bit of a mix through, kind of flake it. You just got this lovely little kind of uh, tasty fruity snow ice basically. Uh, and then also from the freezer, I've grabbed out some gin. So this one is to stick with the kind of Spanish theme, um, a little gin from Madrid, from Santa Mania. It's been barrel aged, so it's got quite a lot of kind of texture and richness. So it's really gonna come through quite nicely here. So I'm just gonna go one shot of the gin in here, obviously kind of up to yourself, um, depending how lit your party is. But for the beginning of the day, I think a little 30 mils is plenty. And then I'm just gonna spoon my granita in on top. So a nice generous serving. We'll pop in our little grapefruit wedge and we can go a little mint sprig as well. Really whatever you have hanging around that's just bright and colorful and is gonna look pretty. And last but not least, nice straw. And there we have a little party granita slushy. So now you know, better give this one a wee taste. It's so yummy, it's so kind of summery and fresh and just really, really fruity. Um, it definitely doesn't taste too boozy like the other uh, cocktails that I've made today. We've made a strawberry daiquiri, frozen strawberry daiquiri and a frozen margarita. Um, and they're both, you know, like quite boozy tasting. Whereas this, you do feel like you could drink all day. But there's that nice kind of um, bit of a drier backbone from the gin there as well with that little kind of juniper hit to just kind of cut through all of the other fruity flavors. Um, I did obviously have a little taste of it without the gin in there too. And it was also really nice, definitely a little bit on the sweeter side. Um, I do think if you are kind of sticking with kind of sweeter liqueurs and a sweeter vermouth, then going with that bit of uh, grapefruit juice in there or maybe even doing some lemon or something as well is pretty necessary to have that little bit more kind of bitter and uh, sort of zesty note in, in but. Yeah, 10 out of 10, would recommend. And it was so easy. Really, really good, I think, for parties and things. I'm definitely, this was my first time attempting this and it's definitely going in the repertoire for sure.